Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Strength Classroom. Today you're looking at my dynamic bench press replacement. Uh, I thought of doing another cycle because my training focus has changed. This cycle will work. I will revisit it when I have the chance, but I'm looking at dropping a little bit of weight. So I will do something a little different, which you will see next week if I happen to film my dynamic workout. And I'm just working up to a heavy six and doing it for five sets on my new Rogue Fitness Swiss Bar. I'll be making a review in case you've ever been wanting to purchase one for yourself. It is the slightly closer grip, not the closest grip. And I'm doing a slight pause on the chest and bouncing back up as quickly as I can. The weight is slightly heavier than typical speed work, so it's not going to be moving fast. But as you can see, those... Those reps are moving pretty good. This is 220 pounds. I want it to be precise. I'm not going to do 225. And uh, that's a way of dropping your ego a little bit. Whatever the percentage says, you do. Don't just round up. That's how you get yourself in trouble. Then I did a close grip two board press for three to five reps. Honestly, I probably could have done five reps on both of them. I just didn't want to go balls to the wall on the first one. And that's another way of getting in quality sets. Just doing as many reps as you can on only your last set. That's how you get good sets in. If I was only doing one set, hey, I probably could have went up to like seven or eight if I was only doing one set. If I really, really, really wanted to push myself. But I just wanted to expose myself to some slightly heavier weights. And a two board is pretty much not that different than off the chest. Then I did three sets of 10 with overhead pressing with 135. I think my triceps are going to have to take focus over my shoulders for right now because my shoulders seem to be stronger in proportion. So shoulders might get moved to the later half of the workout just because I still want to work on my shoulders. I don't want to completely ignore them. But as you see, triceps here, you're doing flat extensions, pretty strict flat dumbbell extensions. And then once I've done as many as I can, I move to this variation I saw on an old West Side barbell tape where you put the band behind the bench. You'll see it here. And then you do what's called like, it's almost like a tape press or elbows out extension. And you do these back to back. As soon as you put the dumbbells down, you just pick this band up and bang out as many reps as you can. It's a great variation for just getting more tricep work and it's very, very elbow friendly as well. Then I moved into some barbell rows, four sets of 10 with 205 pounds. I love barbell rows. I think I'm doing them too much though. My back is growing, but I think I can be throwing in a little bit more variation in there from a little bit different angles. But you know what? If something works, you never change it. It's not just a, an old saying. If it's not broke, don't fix it. So I'm gonna try and start doing heavier weights, maybe work up to some heavier sets of 10. And then I ended up with some cable rows just to get more back work in there. I did 60 reps in as little sets as I can. I think I did five. It ended up being average of 12 reps per set. And I love this variation. I like pulling from this angle. It's like something in between a row and a lat pull down. So it's uh, it's unique because you, you won't find many of these in a public gym. And then I ended off with some curls. I did one set normal or two sets normal and then one set hammer curls just to, you know, work on the gun show a little bit. And that's really all there was to it. Uh, simple workout, simple upper body workout. My next dynamic effort will be different. If you like this video, please click that like button and do all that stuff I normally say. And as always, class is dismissed.